There we go. Hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. What's up? Uh, yeah. Hey. So, Ahegao Academy. We're resuming what we started, and we are going to uh, do the corrected run. Yes. New game plus. Okay. I've been training. <laughs> I've been reading lots of Cosmo. So I know how to get a man, okay? <laughs> I can do this. You can do this, you know, <laughs> right. Um, you see, but Cosmo doesn't teach you about how to get, you can get a man, but can you get a woolly? <laughs> Cosmo's not gonna teach you how to get a woolly. That's a, that's a much more advanced, quote unquote, <laughs> uh -huh. quote unquote. That's a, that's a whole different breed of Pokemon. Yes. You know, can't just use a Pokeball on that. Mm -mm, no can do. You gotta poke it with a stick. And kind of, kind of sprinkle some trash on it. Roll it over a little bit. Take a check, see if it's still alive. You know, like, I, I mean, yeah, you could just toss your master ball out, but like, you know, why waste that? I say just grab a garbage bag. You ever? Yes. You ever see a Poke Master walking around with a garbage bag with a Pokemon in the garbage bag? That's 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 how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you catch a Wooly. You just you just slowly approach with the garbage bag and it, then put it over and I promise I won't move. It's like the kangaroo, you just gotta open like a the joey. bag up mm -hmm. and it's just and That's just it. Right in. Is that a trash bag? Yeah, right in. You've captured a woolly. That's it. That's where the woolies feel the most at home. There you, know? you go. Try to recreate them. 100%. This is the, uh, the, the, according to Rills, the, the, the Wooly Patch Edition. Is that right? This is a patch that was made okay. after our last stream, so <laughs> uh, uh, hopefully this should make things a little bit clearer and easier. But uh, I've been instructed to not load our save, but to in fact start a new save and to use the skip function to right. get back to the places that we wanted to get to. Oh, okay. oh wow, it's so fast. It's like 999. Okay, so Wait, even, so side. copying, so right, it is 999, therefore, Copy it. You see, the yes, yeah, like, like like aggression coming out there a little bit. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that in 999, there is a master save that is booting up the game. It knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. Whereas in this case, I wasn't sure if it only checks your load uh, uh, once you actually like well, right, checks your load. It only, <laughs> it only, you know, blah. Oh my God, I'm gonna go into compliance terms, right? If the game, sometimes, some games have a master save, yes. and then they have sub saves within the master save, right? Okay. So in order to know what someone has seen in text already, right. there has to be a master save exactly. on startup, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you're save, if you don't have that master save, and you just go new game, the game will never know what you've already seen. Mm -hmm. And if you save, and there's no thing up, nothing above that, it'll always treat it as brand new text going through so gotcha. I'm trying to figure out if this game has a master save you oh. see and it sounds and it seems like it does from what I'm reading in the chat That's so advanced. all right yeah there was all that Ustabayaz stuff that gets set up but then we never did anything that actually uh, encountered it okay so here we go you can go eat with Wooly okay so here right. a faithful decision if I remember correctly yeah so this is where you move on okay it's probably best to just drop it. He doesn't seem like he wants to talk about it. So I haven't had a chance. Oh. Uh, so I haven't had the chance to ask anyone about this. Did Highway Star make the room in the tunnel, or was that someone else? Right. <laughs> room in the tunnel? Fuck. I don't know. The same way Jotaro got all that shit in his jail cell, I guess. Oh fuck! Look at the time. Oh shit! It's almost time for class. Uh, I'll catch you later. Wait. Here. Have my number. Tell me if you ever feel like talking about JoJo some more. I, I, I don't know about that room in the tunnel. <laughs> and I wonder, cause I'm like, maybe it was, the, maybe it was one of those like stands without a user type thing. Maybe it was, maybe it was like just the tunnel had its own stand air door, or maybe there was a former stand user that like, maybe it was one of those activates on death type stands or independent stands, you know? Like, uh, remember how um, uh, 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 Anubis, the sword, 
I used to have a user, but the user died, but the stored remains. Right. 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 And then there's examples you haven't seen yet of that existing. Okay. There are other okay. there are other stands that have no user because the user died or something like that. So maybe that's what happened with that fucking door, but I never really thought about it. That's a really good question, Ahigao Academy. <laughs> hmm. Whichever well, one of these fucks you want to get, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, you want to do the opposite? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're right. No, you're correct. You're true. You're true. 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 Okay, Pat. Fine. Hell yeah, let's do this. I'm just, I'm just tagging along to make sure Hold you on. don't get your ass beat. Canonical opening of energy drink for Pat. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Have fun. Don't call me from jail. That would probably violate my probation. Wow, old lore. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, Back when people were like, wait, I saw, I think I saw a picture uh, where Liam has an ankle bracelet on. And it's like, are you that <laughs> insane? Are you, th are you actually that insane? You're looking for, anyway. That would be hilarious. If one of you guys was under house arrest and just tried to pull the wool out on everyone's eyes and that just be like, whatever, man. Yeah, and that's why we always are at, at X's One house. One person's house. And that's whatever. why you guys even started streaming and doing videos in the first place because you couldn't but, but early, leave your house. But early on, that was real. <laughs> there was really people discussing Damn. whether or not Liam was under house arrest mm -hmm. and trying to find the ankle bracelet because that whole <laughs> blur of the jokes and not jokes or whatever, right. where it's not supposed to be blurry, was somehow blurry to people. It was so weird. It was like, oh my god, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. That's how conspiracy theories start, man. And this is just over a YouTube channel. This is how people get all uppity about the CIA. I shit. wish I could say that, like, at least that never happened with the whole murder thing. But I unfortunately have seen messages going, wait, hold on a second. Is Wooly actually an ex-con? <laughs> if so, that would make me really uncomfortable. Can anyone clarify Wait, what this is? Wait, everyone, hold on. Does he steal pies? I what mean, the fuck, man? Like, this like, is some serious shit. It's, it's a whole thing where I'm like, okay, I know that like, like when you're like, there's a just there's a like, you know when you're when when a thing reaches a number of people, you're uh -huh. gonna every once in a while you're gonna ding like radar on one person that's like, I don't get the joke, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. that's fine. But then there's the there's there's just the whole other level where it's like for every ten I don't get the jokes, there's one. Not only do I not get the joke, but I think it's real, right? You know, and that's like, wait, wait what? All the laughter and ridiculousness and the parts where I went, oh, fuck off and all that, like none of that registered and made oh. you, and you actually interpreted this as real information? For me, it's not even that part. How okay? do you get there? For me, it's more that everyone else is just chill with hanging out and working with a fucking murderer. You know what I mean? I know. <laughs> Let's just, uh, but you know what? They probably are okay with it because they're so afraid of you that they can't say anything. I, 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 I just, I <laughs> don't understand. I don't, I don't know. You know, but anyway, that was a weird one. Is like, and 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 that's the thing too. Is like that started that started to be as well when I was like, uh oh, right? Because that's the thing that like I, I saw, I saw comments over that. And then if you can imagine like that one, the, the few comments about like that. Oh wait, hold on. Did you actually murder somebody or whatever? Right. Like when it comes to the fucking animal abuse shit. You can only imagine how many people were like, wait, does he actually kick puppies? Oh, Hold I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Early yeah, on, back okay, when okay. Matt and Pat had nothing to talk about, so they'd just throw me under the bus <laughs> for, for content. Right. Uh, they would fucking go on about how Wooly kicks animals and he hates dogs and this, this, that, and whatever. <laughs> and, like, there was a whole chapter of just, like, uh, shitstorm videos where it'd be like, Wooly fucking, like, the animal abuser strikes again and whatnot. And then for every, like, large group of people right. that goes lol there's someone that goes wait hold on i don't what get the, it yeah, and then yeah, there's yeah. the even rarer but still existing person that goes that's fucked up i can't believe you're okay with this mm. can someone clarify i don't understand we need to dig this up everyone let's get to the bottom and of it's like oh wow can you imagine <laughs> if one day you want to ditch the youtube stuff and you're like you know what i'm just gonna get an office job i'm just gonna start wearing a suit and tie and nowadays everyone checks you mm -hmm. on the internet to see like oh, what's your profile like what's your facebook thing are you you know mm -hmm. i don't know visibly abusing animals in your in your profile pic and they stumble upon all this lore and they're like what the a and con? chat 
stealer, liar, chat, abuser. Chat, chat, you can't call me out with Bork Busters or Pup Snuffers because this happened long before that. Like, like cause, because Bork Busters was a thing. You see, okay. <laughs> Let's explain. Uh, this was early, early on, all this shit was going on anyway. And like way later in the game, like years in, one time outside uh, my old place, there was a van with a logo on it that said Bark Busters. Okay. And it was basically, we'll come in and we'll help train your dog to not make noise okay. and or like whatever. We're here for like miscellaneous sort of right. like dog puppy training and puppy. Th exactly, right? So we just thought the name ba Bark Busters was hilarious. Mm -hmm. So we started riffing on it in the video that we did that day. And then we just, and like that was around the same time as well that Doggo and like doggo right. language was becoming a thing. Cause that yeah. just came into the public consciousness uh -huh, like uh -huh. in maybe the last three years yeah. or so, right? So it was right around the time that dogs were becoming doggos and we saw bark busters. So then we started going into bork busters okay. and, and, and pup snuffers <laughs> and, and uh, whatever, like, like wolf stoppers and just every other hilarious incarnation mm -hmm. of dog and or like, like, like dog murderer, <laughs> like company. Jeez type of thing and it just and it just it just ran from there um and then later on when there was a question on uh the podcast one time we had it was one of, i forgot what the nature of the question was but the core was essentially like what would you do for superpowers what if you had to do something really evil oh, okay. you know and then it was like okay and then like there was a um a, a, what was it? Do an RKO on a giraffe. RKO being the big, like, Stone Cold Stunner okay. looking move that yeah. Randy Orton does on a giraffe to get, like, a, a huge boost of some kind. Mm -hmm. And then, like, uh, I said, snuff that pupper for a Shine Spark, which is an awesome move you can do in Metroid. Okay. Basically, lets you run super fast and fly. And I was saying that, yeah, would you kill a puppy to get this super awesome ability to, to fly and do whatever? Mm -hmm. And so that became the episode title. And so it just, it ran from there. Very but cool. well on before Bork Busters and Pup Snuffer Inc. <laughs> was, was this whole, like, animal, animal thing. And it, it literally had people going, is this real? Tangent over. <laughs> You're supposed to do Pat now. <laughs> would you? Would you see? Would mm, and it, ah! you? You want to? You want to do this now? You want to do this now? I don't think you want to do this now. You don't really want to do this now. We're gonna. We're gonna. All right. This is the place. People who disrespect Rise deserve worse. But I think I owe Jose for something. I can't remember what though. I'll ask him later when I come back and give him seconds. That's pronounced Rise? It's not Rise? You thought her name was Rise? Yeah! Well, it's spelled like the word Rise. But didn't you hear the voice actors? You're not there yet. It's a Persona 4 character. Oh, okay. You haven't met her. You haven't met her yet. No, no, I haven't. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was All like, right. what are you? See, oh. Now you fuck me up with Segu because I'm just like, is he trying to get me to say that? It's not the right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like <laughs> literally, someone, someone later on in P4 is Risei. Oh. Okay. But if you haven't okay. met her yet, no, then I yeah, haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, haven't. fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Risei, huh? Wait, where are you at? I'm so early. I'm uh, still only after the first castle. And we're just kind of talking about. Okay, things. you've met Yukiko. Yeah, you've we've met saved Chie. her. Yes. What? Who is she? Is she from that game with Naoto? <laughs> this is <laughs> this is so accurate because it's real. <laughs> Fucking seriously? Now I'm just embarrassed for myself. You snitched on me for telling the truth. You're gonna pay now, young man. If you insist on causing trouble. I'll have no choice but to stop your wily plans. Get it? Get it? Get it? Dr. Wily is the evil bad guy from Mega Man. Mega Man. I never played that. I know. But I'm just saying. That's okay. the that's the Okay. Puns. His his Woo! his head. Yes. The blue the yeah, blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Mega Man. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that? Well I I recognize that. You have little things here that look like that. Cool. Yeah, video games. Cool, cool. He's crazy. I don't, I don't think chat realizes how normy you are. Oh my guys, I'm really, <laughs> I'm think, really in there. <laughs> I, I think I don't think they realize, right? Like, I, they might not just just in case you guys normy. 
Normie. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Solve the battle somehow. Commentate on the battle. <laughs> 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 Get into the fight. Let's fucking commentate. That's sick. Pat has a chance of beating Mr. Azur as long as he doesn't reveal his secret art. Yo, let's see how you scream, Lord. Let's see how you do your best, like, esports commentary. Let's go. <laughs> but even without that, Mr. Azur has more experience. How can Pat beat an opponent like that? Oh my god, you're terrible at this. You're not Fuck off. <laughs> You're not encouraging me! You need to support me! Are you just gonna stand there and do nothing? Oh. After a brief struggle, Azur surrenders. That's what you get for snitching on me! Wait, you could just fight a teacher and it's okay? <laughs> Before you finish me off, I must tell you, it wasn't me who reported you to the principal. George from the class down the hall reported you. Bumpa. Uh, what? That shitbag! Why did you wait until now to say that? I don't know. I was just happy to be involved. <laughs> God, that's so funny. Oh, Azure. Uh. <laughs> he's not dead. Rather, he's been dead for years. He'll probably watch this off. Well, fuck! I can't beat up George! He's too soft, like a bunny! I'd feel like a monster! I've been expecting you, Mr. Boyvin. Lightning again. Does Zubaz really control the weather? That could be really... extremely dangerous! <laughs> ah! I'm not scared of you, Zubaz! I ain't going to detention! He was so frightened! That's Principal Zubaz to you, Patrick. No one calls me that! I hate my name! Pat trots up to Baz and clubs him over the head. Baz is down! Oh, snap! He's lying in a heap on the lin linoleum. Sobbing? That was... That was super easy, huh? Shit! Is, is that it? That was kind of lame. Lame is great. I'm fine with lame. Let's go or I'll be late for the raid. Uh, okay, I guess. So when you beat the Baz in the, in the game he's in, like Shovel Knight, yeah. he falls and he starts crying on the ground. Oh, does he? Yes, okay. Because he's a super loser, even though he was a boss fight. Okay. And he made it into the game, but nobody likes him because he gets rejected. Aw. And when you beat him in Dive Kick, he's like, rejected again. Because and he just can't handle he, it. Because nobody wants the Baz and he keeps getting rejected, so that's what he refers to. Poor guy. Yeah. Also, raids as in Final Fantasy fourteen online MMO games. He's got to do the big raids with everybody. Cause what is MMO? Massively. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, you can't pull jokes on questions that you would ask for I, real. I know. Don't even front to be like, I'm joking. I totally would have done. No, like, you I can't mean, do that. I'm playing up. That's a legit question that you would totally I'm ask me. Playing up how normy I am. Okay, well. But you're right. Because I'm so normy, that would be super believable for me. Okay. That. And now normies in the vernacular. Now it's just it's full on in there. Now normies use the word normie. like yeah. this one right here. See, all right. That was super anticlimactic. I guess I shouldn't have expected more from such a job. You shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. No! It can't be! What's this new sprite? This new art? You woke the storm! Oh, shit! Principal Baz suddenly gathered himself, wiped his tears, and sprang to his feet. His sleeve exploded <laughs> off his suit, and he pulled a whip out of... I don't know where. He cracked the whip at Pat, breaking the chair, chair leg club through the middle. Pat dropped the broken piece in disgust. Hey, you almost hit me, idiot! Give up, Patrick. You don't stand a chance against the Baz. Like hell I don't! I got a trick up my sleeve that'll take you down. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Stop the fight or watch the fighting thing. I wanna watch the fight. Yeah, clearly. If he says he can win, I have to trust him. Go, Pat! You can do it! Do a fatality! This ends now! We'll see about that. <laughs> Persona! Pat swept his arms around in an exciting pattern. 
but nothing. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, please have him pull a gun out and shoot himself <laughs> in the head, and then nothing happens. He just shot himself and in the head. And he just and he just fucking died. <laughs> 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 Could you imagine? Just, that's it. Here we go. Ch -ch Persona. Boom. <laughs> 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 you just fucking die. <laughs> that would be great. Oh wow. That that come on. That needs to be a route. Yes, but then yes. the character is dead for the rest of the game. But then he just shows up again. Who cares? Yeah, like Kenny from but South Park. But just hard him. cut to dead body, bleeding out the head, and everyone going, "Oh my God, what the fuck!" Oh, and everyone just backs away slowly, <laughs> fight over, and then the next scene he just shows up again. Because who cares? It's a video game. <laughs> I I mean, take this. What a! <laughs> Aw. Pat delivers a solid round roundhouse kick to aim at Zubat's jaw. With what leg? <laughs> However, Pat is not that tall, so. Ah! That was right in my junk. <laughs> no, I'm not! See? That's why you'll never ever beat me, a huge cheater! Hope that teaches you a lesson. Pat rushes out, all blustery. I mistook that for pride at first, until I noticed he was definitely aiming at Baz's jaw and was actually super upset about missing. I'll be eating trash out of garbage cans and sleeping under piles of coats. I'm sorry, what did you just say? No one can hurt you when you're under a pile of coats. Oh, God. Because if you're under coats, no one knows you're there. Yeah. So if the cops are out to get you, you can just hide under a pile of coats. If the world is ending, right? You can just hide under a pile of coats. I don't often see piles of coats outside. No, no, no. What do you but, do? No, no, no. But it's like you know the pile of coats that happens when you go into like a party, right? And they don't have a coat rack, so everyone just sort of throws a pile of coats on the bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that pile of coats that's on the bed, if you hide under there, you are completely your your entire. Your, your, your dot on the map goes away. Okay. And everyone completely loses sight of you. And then you can peek out to see what's going on. But ultimately, it's the safest place in the world. It's oh, under shit. a pile of coats. Okay. And then once the world ends, you can safely come back out from under the coats. And then and begin, a bunch of coats. begin a new society. So, um, real lore is uh, the safest place in the world at any given time. Is hiding under a pile of coats. Well, I will keep that in mind. It's also a video that we shot but never actually made. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Or the footage is out there somewhere. Or not. More like it's somewhere. I don't know where. But yeah. The fuck is this? Where did this come from? One second my hand was empty, the next it was there. Hmm. Maybe Pat knows. I should ask him later if I get the chance. You got the tarot card. Tarot. Tarot. The tarot card. Yeah. You're right. That's what it is. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know it now that I said it. You've just never loud. read it? No. Sayonara. Where's your accent? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it doesn't feel natural. Accent no. But I know it's not. I know it's not natural. Sayonara. Yeah. Hi. Sespe. I want to get some art. Anyway. Joko, you want to walk home together? I must be the second floor. Let's see. What a defining trait. <laughs> the <laughs> second floor. Well, I'm curious to see what's yeah, on the yeah, second yeah. floor. I want to see how they tie no, it no, in, no, you know? No, 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 for sure, for sure. I just mean, I'm like, if you were going to close your eyes and hit a... P and, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw a dart. <laughs> well, you were part of clubs in Sea Jep and shit, right? Yeah. Well, what were you part of? Were you part of anime? I was. Comic I book was. Or? I was prez of anime, and I was prez of comic book. Okay. Okay. And uh, anime eventually become became um, anime shun. Okay. Because it's not <laughs> not just not just Jap Japan. Right. 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 And uh, yeah, that was. Did the you thing. did you have like elections and stuff? Did you have to be voted in? Yeah. 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 You have to have a, you have every club. Has to have a president, a vice president, a treasurer, um, a secretary, and uh, 
another officer position. I forgot what it was. But like every club needed to have at least those people. And I want to say like 10 members to, to be given a club space. Okay. And, and is it the people from the club that vote for you? Or, I guess my question is, did you go around campaigning? Did you have no. to like put up flyers and no. like change your Facebook profile? No. You're like, vote for me. How many times do I have to say no? Well, I was trying to paint the picture. <laughs> no, not at all. I literally just had, you had to go to the club space <laughs> and you just had to like go, all right, we're going to have our elections. And then uh, whoever is interested yeah. and, and or a club member can vote for who or what you want and who you want to be what position. Okay. And then you can just nominate and then go, hey, and then you just do the thing with, with the club members. Oh, okay. Was there ever, like, rivalry? Like, lots of people wanted the presidency and you fucking um, had to, like, do some shady shit to try to win other not, people over? No, no. It was pretty... <laughs> Honestly, it was kind of just like, okay, who's the person that's kind of leading this group and doing right. stuff in a way? Yeah. Like, who's taking initiative? It on, just kind of fell naturally. Yeah, who, it's like, who, who's taking initiative on events? Who's sort of, you know what I mean, and whatnot? Um, and, like, when I was gone, there was, like, and before me, the guy who did it and the person who did it after me as well, like, it was always kind of just like, yeah, this person was doing it, at, they were doing Vice before, Mm -hmm. Or, like, they were already organizing events and setting things up. So you could kind of just sort of naturally tell who was going to do it in a way. Yeah. So it was never a huge battle of any kind. It was oftentimes, like, yeah, you you set up a bunch of events. Mm -hmm. You took the initiative. Clearly, you want to do this. So. No house of card shit going on. Not really, no. Because, <laughs> you know, everyone was kind of just like, okay, well, you're doing a good job of setting shit up. So why not? I remember in my high school... We had a, a club for the, because I went to a Catholic school, so there was a club for the religious stuff, all the like ceremonies and, and the church things. I remember this one girl, every time she would run to be the president of it, and she never got it. I was like, fuck, even like the Christian, like the super Christian kids who are supposed to have like love and, and joy in their heart did not find any love in their heart for her. She never got it. It made me so sad. The uh, well, high school elections are pretty different because yeah. that's much more of a of general popularity contest. Mm, mm. And that's also like you're applying to be like class or, gr or president of your grade in a way mm -hmm. or like or of your book or of whatever the case mm -hmm. is. So it's like that was something that the entire student body gave a fuck about. Whereas like every given club, yeah. there was tons of clubs and they all had their own groups of people that were interested in whatever. So you know, there were many presidents because they were all pertaining to their activities. Plus, the general student body in college is not at all, like, united in that same way that no, you are no, in high no, school. No, 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 no. No, in the high school, I think, if I remember correctly, it was just the church kids who were a part of that committee voted mm. on who would get it. Um, but, yeah. I'm losing control of the evil power sealed in my demonic right arm. If you don't stop, sh if you don't stop shit, shit talking Naruto, the chakra will spread violently through my body, unlocking my dual wielding eternal Manga Q Sharigan, which is oh, I, it went fast. Hey, hey, hey! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can hit that history button. <clears throat> <laughs> Please stay back. If I, I'm losing control of the evil power sealed in my demonic right arm, if you don't stop shit talking Naruto. The chakra will spread violently through my body, unlocking my dual-wielding Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, which is capable of Anton Amaterasu, Izanagi, Izanami, and the Tsukiyomi Genjutsu, as you know. And I will be powerless to stop myself from unleashing a Yin Yang Bakana release ninjutsu that would wipe out the whole classroom. Please, my uncontrollable demonic arm, have mercy on these wannabe otaku. <laughs> If they don't know about my infinite Tsukiyomi, and I the merciless... <laughs> if they don't know about my infinite Tsukiyomi, and the merciless Kenjutsu, and dual-wielding Taijutsu power that I, the fallen Hokage, have disp displaced from my ninja homeland, and trapped among witless cretins, can only barely contain, nay, <laughs> that I am utterly powerless to contain. Uh, well... That's enough of the Japanese club for a whole year. <laughs> okay, so so second floor is club spaces. Okay, okay. That's that's what it is. I would have said club spaces. Yeah. Yeah. 
As the otaku at the front of the classroom begins to turn blue with his rant ranting, I pop into the seat by Wooly. He nods approvingly and hands me an earbud. I take it. Ah, oh, gross! Don't cheer earbuds! Yeah, I can just clean it off. I know, but it's kind of gross. Yeah, but... I don't know, I feel that's very high school for me. That just reminds me of times where you're just like, oh, hey, okay. listen to yeah, this, you, blah, blah, blah. And you get to sit really close okay, to you know the what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay, to be fair, new earbuds... The ones that go in your fucking ear yeah. versus old ones that were just flat and would rest outside the yeah. ear. are The old ones from that from the era when I was in high school are not as big of a deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the current ones, like the AirPod style ones right. and the ones that go suction cup in the ear, Very intimate. that's super duper not shareable. <laughs> not at all remotely shareable. Don't, don't share it. I don't know if you've been using your Q-tips or not. I can't be giving that to you. Listen to this. <laughs> that, that, no, 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 not that, not that one. Oh, it's Sword Art Online. <sighs> I, I, like, yeah, okay. I. <laughs> it's that shitty fucking thing that 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 Jeff like shot on the whole time that we. When he oh yeah, over, yeah. Or whatever, right? <sighs> hmm? Like, hmm. It's like uh, it's yeah okay all right fine I'm like as a sh that's that's not even that's not even real embarrassment you know like if you grabbed some like some fucking some old Naruto uh, intro or some shit like that that would have been way more on point but uh, I'll take it I'll take it I just I'm like I I don't even recognize where this is I know we haven't been streaming for long but I have to go pee. go ahead go ahead okay. go ahead don't make the mistake that everyone else makes mute there you go because at some point. So far, everyone makes the mistake of going to the bathroom, and the mic is still clipped in, and everybody gets to hear it, and that's not what you want. So far, it hasn't been live on stream, though, so that's okay, but it's definitely happened offline for what it was. Um, this was your choice. Oh, Rills, you're the one that put in SAO? Okay, well... You know, you know, that's that's fine. Um, I've never watched a single fucking episode, and that's not changing anytime soon. All I know is there's there's a mo there's a jibu wo sekai, and then the rest of the song happens. I don't actually know. Oh, is that another thing entirely? Well, great. That's another shit. That's another. That's code gayest. I've never. There you go. I don't know shit about shit. Fake weeb. I have never claimed to see code gayest. I have never said at any point that I had any feelings about code gayest, and those eyes creep me out. I know people said that I'd probably love the story if I ever watched it, but clamps, creepy, big head eye people really scare me. Um, Masked Writer Hero says, do not use Q-tips to clean the insides of your ears. <laughs> it even says so on the box. You will impact the earwax and mess up your hearing. Protect the ears and hear more Kirby and anime. Okay. Um, it does, but they, they feel really good. <laughs> just, I feel like it's used with caution. Yeah. You know? Like, don't shove it in too deep is obviously what the thing is. But the, low, the labels always say, use, use to clean the outside of your ears. Uh -huh. But it's like, come on! It <laughs> feels so good to clean your ears with fucking Q-tips. Get the fuck out of here! Come on! You're gonna tell me that's not satisfying? I love cleaning my ears. I really do. It's like, yes. It's really enjoyable. Don't shove it in at all. Come on, fuck! If, you if you're fucking telling me that, you, that it doesn't feel good, that you don't enjoy that, you're full of shit. I'm not shoving it super deep in, but it's going in enough to just mm -hmm. soothe the but ear. It does feel like you're playing with fire because it, it, it's so sensitive. Like it it's, is. A, it's a different feeling, and immediately I'm like, oh, I'm already too far. But it's just because I, that skin doesn't get any stimulation. But also, so just... you're not if you're if you're cleaning it if you're if you're doing it lightly and often enough to keep it clean, mm -hmm. then you're not getting buildup, right? Like if you never fucking clean your yeah. ears and there's a whole bunch of gunk, yeah. then you're gonna push it in. But if you do it regularly, it's not going to build up, yeah. right? Well, okay. I just remember hearing about how, I know this is gross, but your ears are naturally supposed to push the earwax out and for it to fall. That, that's how your ear was made. That's how God intended your earwax to be used. So that's, yes, you would compound it hey, regardless. I'll have you know. 
that when you go to Japan and if you go to one of those cuddle cafes, <laughs> yeah. that the various levels of payment, uh, they, they start with basic cuddling and they advance all the way up to the final level, which is rest your head on a lap as a Q-tip is used to clean your ears. That is the highest level of cuddle cafe interaction you can have. That is like the most intimate thing you can do with a And baby. that, there's a reason for that. And that's because <laughs> it, cleaning the ears is it's the shit. It's because you're not supposed to and it's taboo. And that's why people are doing it because you get off on taboo shit. It is. Q-tips are the shit. They're awesome. Also, you can probably also get one of those baby sucker, you know, the... Um, yeah, to like clean up the baby you know, you know what you, Yeah, you can use one of those to probably like... Dip in water and like, kind of like, maybe would, would that work? I don't know. I've never tried it, but I feel like it might. I don't might. know about that. I mean, it feels like your earwax is too dry to become a. But like, you know, when you go in the pool and water water gets in your ears, yeah. and you have to kind of like knock it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And in Jamaica, they used to they teach you how to like do the shake. You know, like you have to, <laughs> it's like a really violent head jerk to get okay, the water out okay, of your ear. Yeah. Like you kind of learn how to do that when you come back from the beach and, and the islands or whatever. So you you learn to do that, and that's one really. That'll that'll clear out some of your ears as well. But for sure, sure, man. I'm like I'm like don't fucking hate on the Q-tip. <laughs> don't hate on the Q-tip. I'm not accepting that. I, that's bullshit. And I feel that this outside of the whole cleansing is just unsatisfying. And and I will never, I will never. It's not okay. I'm not down with that at all. It's a passionate topic. <laughs> Damn. I nod, and we do that cool thing where two people nod in time together. Can you hear the music? I can, but it's not as loud as the other one. Do you recognize it? Okay. Come on. Come on. Is it, is it the jet set? No. There is the mind killer. Mind killer. Mind killer. I don't know what that is. Here is the mind killer. I still don't know what that is. It's okay, it's been a long time. It's the final level of red. Boom, boom, oh my god, I would never remember that. Damn. And then as humanity grew and they 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 fucking evolved and rose from the star rose from the sea and then mm. went up to space. And then you go up to space, and then you do 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 do. You fight the big boss and stuff. Yeah. And then you go through the whole evolution, and you see the digital trees growing, and then the narration yeah. boxes pop up, and then you see the girl. Yeah. This is the this is the music from level five. Uh, there's no way I would have. That's fine. No way. Fear is the mind killer. Also a reference to Doom. I just want to talk about Axis Powers Italia for a moment. Has anyone here seen that show? People in the room nod or shake their heads. Well, and I nod, but we're the <laughs> but we're trendsetters. Do they address the Holocaust in that show? Tammy, the Spanish-speaking Japanese class dropout is in attendance and speaks out. Eh? Por qué? Uh, Axis Powers Italia is the anime show where every country is represented by an anime character. Oh, that's fun. But? In concept. Uh-huh. Not in execution. Okay. <laughs> because the things you would want to see from that type of idea and history carrying itself out, uh, apparently it doesn't play it as, mm. as you, the way it should go for maximum comedic value. And is it due to they didn't execute it right or is it just the concept itself is just not as great as... I think it, it, it sounds like mainly it was they didn't execute it right because they kind of were, they kept it really safe. Okay. And they didn't really do much to like push the things that you could hilariously do yeah. by having characters representing countries. Right. That is comedy platinum if you have balls. What would be Grenada? What would be Grenada? Yeah. What, what about Grenada? Well, how, how would you envision an anime character to represent Grenada? Do you remember how Grenada was represented in The Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> we can come with our dicks hanging out. Nobody gives a fuck. We're going to win. You, my friend, are Grenada. I just feel it'd be easier to learn about it if the Holocaust were interpreted to me through Japanese animation. I asked because on a recent exam, I cited this fan fiction where Germany goes over to Poland's house and... 
feeling an elbow jumpy top of my rib. If Jeff and that centipede over there fought, who would win? What? I think it's an even match. <laughs> Tell everyone how big and strong you are. Me? I'm not the fighting type. I hung, oh, out, no. my, I hung out my ninja headband years ago. I did. <laughs> I did. Matt told me you still wear it. Hmm? That's a lie. It's just on my backpack, see? That's not wearing it. <laughs> it's totally not. Anyway, <laughs> it came down to it. I think Tammy the Moth Girl would win. The necklace she wears was actually worn by her great-great-grandmother and carries the collective strength of all her ancestors <laughs> and the men they've defeated. That's pretty serious. What are we talking about? That is actually relevant in... in uh, Maori history. And, I, uh, I was gonna right? say that's what it reminds me of. The whole thing with, ha with Haka and Pukana and all that stuff is like, yeah, your strongest warrior. <laughs> but explain what, like, what's Pukana. So when you so in 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 when you a part of Haka is uh, Pukana, which is like sticking your tongue out. So whenever you see like, um, whenever you see like uh, Maori uh, people or in general like also Polynesian. They kind of have it as, as, as well as a main thing. Whenever you see the tongue sticking out and like the eyes open, it's a sign that you are basically threatening your enemies and going, like it looks like a goofy face in a way, mm -hmm. but the message is meant to be, uh, I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna eat you and I'm gonna consume your power, right? Mm. And it's like, the whole thing is basically like, yeah, so like you look like food to me so my intimidation face is mm -hmm. opening my mouth and sticking my tongue out because I'm literally gonna eat your body, right? Mm -hmm. And that'll give me your power. Mm -hmm. And the idea is if your strongest warrior who has killed many people and eaten them and taken their power is then killed by me, right. not only am I the strongest warrior of my tribe, but I'm of like my iwi, I'm the best. I'm also the, eating the strongest warrior of yours. So now I'm double the best mm -hmm. and I'm super impossible to un unstoppable fucking god tier mm -hmm. like dude and like everybody that sees that shit is just like I don't want a piece of that because my number was huge and his number was huge and now you add our numbers together and um you're fucking unstoppable yes and and then yeah and then the the uh the wahine thing like the uh what the like the tattoo the, on exactly the right so like the woman of the iwi would have the like tattoo on their mouth or like the it was like red markings, face paint, and it would be underneath the gum, underneath the uh, the bottom lip, and drip down, right? And that was we we saw that when we went to New Zealand. Yeah. Now what that's supposed to be is the blood of the warrior that was killed by the strongest is now his body. He's like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna eat you. Get your power, and I'm gonna take it home and feed it to my family so <laughs> they get your power too. Right. Yeah, yeah. So when so when like the, the the warrior woman have the blood underneath, it's because they're like the power of the greatest warrior of the enemy tribe was shared with me, and now I have that power as well. And we're all our numbers all went up. Big numbers go up. Beast mode. Get the fuck out. So the whole thing about like continuously adding to like the power levels or whatever is like it just reminds me of yeah, that yeah. a lot. Yeah, no, yeah. that's um, fucking badass. Yeah. Boldest. Not exactly quite true. The the. Moko was mainly to look more intimidating. Yes, the stuff that was, like, we, we, I had, like, anyway, I'm not, I'm the, this is one of the things that we went into depth and like a bunch of the classes on. The stuff all, along the face, along the eyes and whatnot, especially looked, um, especially looked more so intimidating, but the, 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 along the mouth, that, that specific purpose, that's kind of the, the historically where that came from. Uh, the and Maori women weren't for women. Yeah, and that they weren't fighters. That's not a thing. I'm not saying they were fighters. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that they the the idea, an idea the body was shared with them mm -hmm. as a source of of uh, mana mm -hmm. was what they would do. So that that's kind of, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm not don't don't get it twisted. <laughs> All right, huge tangents. All right, we have we have to do something, Joko. She looks ready to strike. We have to protect the whole kage. <laughs> uh, bracing me by the shoulders. What the fuck is going on? Okay, should I use my skill or should I negotiate? I don't know. Oh, but that's not as fun. No, it's not. Hokage, I, 
I... I have to stop the fight by saying something even more outlandish than what he planned to say. What were we talking about in history today? I actually think... Italia, Belgian, Congo would be superior, a uh, superior spin-off. Oh, God. Everyone is staring at me. Uh, Wooly's barely stifling, <laughs> horrified cackling. I gather my things uh, and move quietly. Speaking of boys, don't tell me. You don't have your eyes on anyone in particular, do you? And here you get the line, I did have fun hanging out with him today, <laughs> but is he the one? This is a crucial piece of dialogue <laughs> that clarifies this choice moving is forward into the future. The one. Excellent change, Rills. Excellent work. Okay. Idiot proof writing. Lit. Right, who could they take? And then we couldn't, and we didn't remember who it was. I don't think any of this matters. Right. Because we just, the whole point is Pat's gone and we don't fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, sure. Matt, you were talking to me about that two, you were telling me about two snacks. Did you talk to him? He went out of town and that guy can handle the fuck out of himself. I rarely hear from him until one day he sent me a text saying he killed his imposter in a dog fight. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Uh, okay, so there was a while there because two snacks never, um, like he, 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 he never, like, had a thing or blah. You never became like a public figure where he was like, here's what I look like, and okay. you never talk. Yeah. Like, two snacks is always just, he's just in the background in the animating, exactly. Yeah. So some fucking asshole was going around to more than one convention. Oh, shit. Okay. That was claiming to be two snacks. And wow. it's the, it's the weirdest weirdest thing to do, yeah. but he went to more than one con <laughs> in America, oh, going, "Hey, I'm the animator, Two Snacks." Yeah, and just pretended to be him. And like just, just like in conversation. Uh, I, or what do you? I don't try know. To get... I, I don't know if he used it like for guest purposes or okay. just casually. Okay, okay, okay. But either way, there were photos of some guy that people took Whoa. claiming to be two snacks and it was just like that's freaky like what was your plan yeah like it was it to get shit or just to be a fucking asshole it's such a weird move yeah but that's that happened and then he basically had came out and went yeah that's not me and uh I, in, on the official channel just went yeah some weirdos trying to be me and then no uh -huh. he ran panels he yeah. ran he did run panels yeah Wow. Okay, because I could almost believe, you know, you're talking to someone and I don't know, you're you're nervous and you're you're fumbling and then you just you just say something stupid and then you're like, fuck, why did I say that? And then you just run with it. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm too snacks. Ah. No, 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 no. Like, like, no, I'm, I'm going to interrupt plan. you right there okay, because okay. <laughs> if you're nervous, why would you bring up yes. something like that to escalate the level of nervousness that you're going to your feel? Your brain is dumb. It just I, no, dumb no, things. no. I, but, mm. but for me... My, I mean, it was obviously not true because then why would you say that again? You know, if, if we know that someone was impersonating two snacks, he didn't just do that in one conversation, and, and if, then it, everyone found out. You and know, he, and if he, and again, if he, if he ran panels, that means like he was going Damn. in for the full guest status Ooh. or whatever. Gross. But it's like it's just what a piece of shit. You know what? Um, I didn't realize how much. I sing and hum and talk to myself until I started living with you because before I lived alone. And wow, I sound like a fucking crazy person. Yeah. Yep. You don't shut up. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. no it's, true. it's true. Yeah, that makes me laugh. I mean, I like, like, I like have songs too, uh -huh. but I play them in my head. But it's so much more satisfying to sing it out loud. Yeah, I guess. Honestly, it's for me, it's to the point. But I, I it just, is that much more satisfying that when I listen to music and I'm walking outside, I will mouth yeah. the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to like kind of sing, but not really sing. But I know what you mean. I still look I know crazy. What you mean. I, I get it. I yeah. just, I've never talked to myself and I, don't, I just don't generally. 
make noises to myself. As far as I know, <laughs> if I ever do, point it out. Because I definitely get into stuff and I bob my head and I'll dance, you know? Right, right, like, right. Like, I'll dance if I'm by myself and, like, to get into the music I'm into. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But, like, I, I don't, I don't usually think I sing it out loud in any way. You don't narrate your lines? No. No, I don't make noises when there's no ears around to hear them. Well, I mean, there's <laughs> your ears. I know. I do it. I do it to like structure. It's but I have a brain. Usually when I'm planning something, and when I'm just like, oh, okay, <laughs> two cups of lemon mm-hmm. juice. Well, you know, like I just need to say out loud to and structure the, myself. And the funny thing too is, I'm like, like whatever I'm singing is not going to sound as good as the memory of the song in my head, where the actual voice of the artist is singing. But it's not about hearing. <laughs> it's about your vocal cords. It's about you're right. using. You know what I mean? No, you're, you're, you're true. Because no, 100. percent I sound like dog shit. So. I'm not doing it for you, I'm not doing it for me, for my ears. Totally get it. Yeah. You aren't kidding. People really flock to Liam. Liam. Gotta get the Liam. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so, so, <laughs> this is Laura as well. Uh, uh, in Heavy Rain, mm-hmm. um, that David Cage game that mm-hmm. came out before Detroit. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the beginning, there's a thing where you're running around and like your kid has a balloon and like he lets go of the balloon. Okay. And then you have to go get the balloon. Okay. And so there's a button that is like for you to say a thing, Mm -hmm. like prompt. Right. And as you're walking towards the balloon, uh, the main character says, balloon, gotta get the balloon. And then you can press it again. And he says, balloon, gotta get the balloon. (laughs) Balloon. Got to get the balloon, and then you can imagine what the first thing we do is. So hard cut to balloon. Got to get the balloon. Balloon. Got to get the balloon. Mm-hmm, balloon. Mm-hmm, Got to mm-hmm. get the balloon. And we were streaming it, and like everyone was there, and we all did it. And for us, as long uh, it took a while. A, a balloon. Got to oh, get the man. balloon. Got to get creepy. the balloon. Got to get the balloon. Yeah. Because that's what happens when um, you don't plan things or QA them to the fullest. But it's fine because it's not really that much of a bug. Yeah, it would you have would you have given a feedback about that yes. if you were in QA? Okay. Yeah, I would say like this line was like I would just say like please record other lines of dialogue <laughs> or don't let this thing ha- like, you know. But at the same time, NPCs and games like if you start mashing to talk to the same person, then they'll just keep saying the same thing over and over. So yeah, that's also enough. just a video game. Yeah. You know. But at least in Mar- in Luigi's Mansion, when you press the Mario button, mm-hmm. you go Mario. Mm-hmm. Then the next time you go, Mario! Oh, okay. And then the third time you go, Mario! <laughs> so you get different versions of the mm-hmm. same thing, mm-hmm. you know? So then how should I respond? By following up. Okay. Liam. <laughs> okay, gotta get to Liam. Liam. Gotta get to Liam. Nah, that's why we hang out. Good old funsies. But if you didn't get that joke, we wouldn't be hanging out. No, we wouldn't! <laughs> Why do we hang out? You, you don't get any of my shit. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Uh, I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> You're gonna figure me out. I was like, I can't keep this up. What a fraud. I can't keep this up where I live. Ooh, is interesting. Nice. You know what? And this. Hey, is- art. Who's responsible for this background? <laughs> this is a very nice background. And I don't know about Shout you, outs. but this is very reminiscent to the mountain for me. It is. In Montreal. Absolutely. Yeah. This is very, this is like our lookout, which everybody gets to see recently because they took a screenshot of Montreal and put it in the new Resident Evil game. Hey. Literally, they look out at oh, Raccoon fuck. City. Okay. And Raccoon City is just the mountaintop from the Raccoon Lookout. I was going to say, <laughs> that is very apropos. From the fucking... Raccoon Lookout. Man, I was once at the lookout and I seen a homeless guy try to play fetch with a raccoon. Like, mm. there are so many raccoons. They're just used to garbage. There, they don't care, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Madden Tower, the Party Cave, mm-hmm. Garbage Mountain, Castle Super Beast. Uh, you should recognize Party Cave. I don't. I'm, I'm, I, if I'm remembering correctly, Party Cave is literally when... Uh, I must. I think I must have used that from when you would talk about in about, Cuba. Okay, because I was gonna say that reminds me of Cuba. Yes, yeah, so where it's just like, okay, let's go to the party cave. Yeah. All right, we're gonna jet ski over to the other party cave. It was such. And then shit. there's nothing else. But hey, we got another party cave. Man, it was. So I feel like, like I, th- I think we talked about that at some point. It it it's just it was so. Uh, oh, 
this was a kind of a, a, a week that was planned by an old person that doesn't know what young people like to do. They're like, young people like to party and drink, so let's just, the event package will be, let's, let's dance on the beach, let's dance in a cave, let's dance at another resort, uh. let's dance at a third resort, like, god damn, can we fucking just see the country and, you know, do other things? Oh, no, it was Bloodborne. Oh, okay, no, 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 never mind. It wasn't that at all. It wasn't our party cave. It was Bloodborne where there's um, there's a cave and a bunch of creepy, bloating mess things, like body creatures all over the place, and they're mm. all really nasty. And, oh. we call it, and we called it the party cave because there's like a boss in there and a bunch of things that attack you. I, I remember that now. Mm-hmm. Okay, my brain had two party caves in it. <laughs> Yeah. Got it. In comparison, my party cave sounds better, but... Yeah. No, the party cave was not, in fact, a good party cave. It was very (laughs) bad. (laughs) Shoutouts to Vihox, the artist. Yeah, this is great, man. You know, this is one of those moments where you were on the street, Uh and and I was waving, and then you were across the street, and you were like... And then you kind of started waving, but I was actually waving at the person behind you. (laughs) And you kind of went, uh... Uh... But she did the hand up. It was too late. You committed. So yeah. now you have to either reach and scratch your head. Or like or hail a like, cab. Ah, <laughs> ah, Heil Hitler. What? <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there's no saving it. <laughs> This place is great. Every ramen lover in the know is here. All the best people are here. Thanks. <laughs> I love you too. Not you, shitbag. He's right, you know. This place really is the best. The broth is perfectly flavored to complement <laughs> the noodles, and neither one upstages the softness of the pork. Sorry, I'd love to cut you off right there. <laughs> Look, Joko, it's ready. Well, he graciously takes the ramen from the chef and hands one to me. Fine. See if I put you on my list of favorite YouTubers in three months. <laughs> well, he watched him go. At first I thought it was some kind of in-joke, but he kept staring long after the guy left. <laughs> <laughs> Do people give you more than the usual amount of shit, or is it just me? Wow! <laughs> Funny story about that joke <laughs> Hope you've got a minute. We're just kids. They can't pick on you when it's not your fault. Oh, well, he looks a little embarrassed. Thank you, Joko. We both turned our attention to ramen for a while. It tampered with the hole? I wonder what that means. Still, speaking of the natural order, sitting at a ramen bar, eating a meal with Wooly, this feels natural. This is so good. This is damn good. In a conversation about the woolly hole, it manages <laughs> to be wholesome. That's, I'm surprised. That's, it is sweet. It's like, oh, everything is right in the world. And right? Ramen below the woolly hole. Okay, we don't need to keep saying it. <laughs>